Before we get started, I wanted to take this opportunity to dedicate this finale to someone very special. My mom. I wanted to dedicate this to her because she is a big fan of The Walking Dead and has very much enjoyed this journey that I've been making here in The Last of Us. And so, I know she's disappointed that this game is going to be coming to an end today, but I wanted her to be able to enjoy it because I know she has, and so I wanted to as well say thank you as well to my mom because she's moving away in a couple of months time to New Brunswick, and so it's going to be a while until I can see her again. So, yeah, so to my mom, Thank you for everything that you've done to help me throughout the years. Thank you for always being my greatest supporter. And thank you for showing me just how much you've loved me over the years. I would not be here today if it wasn't for you. Greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of The Last of Us. And last time, we finally hooked up with the Fireflies, who told us that Ellie has been taken away to be pricked for surgery in order to have her brain removed, essentially killing her, in order to get the vaccine that the Fireflies have been wanting to get all this time. So Joel is not necessarily down with this idea. And he is actually trying to get Ellie back from the Fireflies. So we can see one of them over there. And yeah, I see another over here. What do I have to craft? Um, a shiv will definitely go a long way. Um, I took away the opportunity to craft a bomb, but I can make another smoke bomb. Nothing more I can do as far as enhancing my supplements is concerned, so it's pretty much all me now. A shiv. Um, no, wait, let's try that again. A shiv, two health kits, and three smoke bombs. Let's see how we do. Because yeah, you can see they're moving the lights left and right. They really want us beaten and bloodied and dead. Oh wow, how did you not notice me? Ow! Yeah, I really thought we were fine, and yeah, they have machine guns. We really shouldn't be surprised by this. Ugh. Alright, get over to what I thought was safety. Let's take you out. And separation, go. Down you go. You're out. Alright. Yeah, how exactly... Yeah, how much distance we have to go in order to get to the top floor. Yeah, come on, man. Come out where I can get my hands on you with a shiv. I'm gonna look around over here. You, go check over that way. Oh, oh, get up on him. Get up on him. Yeah, we're gonna strangle you up because I want to protect my shiv. All right, you're down. Well, they're giving me all Diablo all bullets. I can't complain. I'll take them. Okay, we know where they are. Oh, there's more like coming this way. Huh. Yeah, I guess this is the fire in the fireflies now, huh? Um, go back over here. Yeah, we may have to eliminate these guys one at a time. Yeah. What the? Okay, yeah, he notices the dead body. Yeah, these fireflies, they're gonna be wise. They're gonna be military smart. I can feel it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Three at once. Not the best odds. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that was bad. Oh boy, take this. 
Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, I got taken out. Oh, uh, yeah, this was not the previous... This wasn't as far as I was hoping. Oh, hold on. Goods over here. Rags binding, but the binding is full. Okay. Don't have a melee weapon. Can't make another shiv. Oh, wait, wait a minute. And we're crafting the same stuff. Ugh. Ooh. Now, yeah, should you make use of the brick? Did I catch any attention? Nope, they're still waiting for me. Huh. Ow. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, I am the darkness does not help me. Cover of darkness does not aid me. I mean it's shooting right through this guy. Oh hi! Hi there! I meant to strangle you, not shiv you. I meant to strangle you, not shiv you. That's not what I meant. That's not what I had in mind. Fan out. Oh, come over here. He's coming over here. He's coming over here. Come on over. Let's strangle you out. Gotcha. Right, you're out. Okay. Now this is where I got stuck last time. There's less people to worry about though, so hopefully it will not be so bad. But still, triple threat. Over here, and you're out. Okay, somehow we did not get caught. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain. Get this blade back. Oh, yeah, if you see lights, it's not a good sight. Okay. I just need you to come over here so I can strangle you. Yeah, let's strangle you out. Now I'm going to accumulate a whole bunch of dead bodies in here. Ah, man. I'd like to try and cross over, but... With two fireflies staring me blank in the face, it's not going to be an easy task, and I really wish I knew how to set this flamethrower on fire. I really, really wish I could figure out how to set it on fire. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame that I have a perfectly good flamethrower, and I could probably use it to get me out of this pinch. But I don't know how to use it. This flamethrower has been nothing but a real bad dud. I think I'm going to need to draw attention again. Huh? They weren't even phased. <laughs> wow. They weren't even phased by that. And the thing is, I gotta get past those two in order to continue. That's the problem. Like, do I just mad dash over here or something? 
Well, I could go over here. Alright, um... Wait a minute, is this the... Did I just go in a circle? I really hope I didn't just go in a circle. Um... Alright, here's a bottle. Ooh, more goods. What can I craft? Nothing. But as long as I keep gaining, as long as I keep collecting, I'm fine. Alright. Where do I go next? Yeah, I feel like I can get the jump on this guy and strangle him, but no, there's two of them. Here's a friend. Come on over. Oh, these fireflies are not phased by bricks and bottles. They are very good at what they do. Blades. Full on rags. Wow. Um, well, we do have another health kit. We can make another shiv. But I think a bomb would be more effective at this point. Look at the brick. Okay. I see the lights on, but I don't see a way around them. I got them moving. I got them moving. More supplements. Oh, but that's the thing, like, we can get them to move, but we can't get them to do what I want. Like, th these guys are not easily phased. Um, all I need is a clean line. If I can get him here. There. We've lost one over here. Let's get your friend. There. That's another. Well, the upgrades I did to the El Diablo were doing their job. Yeah, you do. Alright, more goods. Alcohol. Alcohol is good. Ugh, hi. Are you being shot from behind? No, but I will be... spotted in a moment, I fear. Yeah, just gotta take this nice and slow. Oh, uh, wow. Get some separation. Ugh. I get, this is what I got. Oh, wow, now it's three. Yikes. Uh, it's, they're just trading places with me. Right, you're dead. Now let's take care of you. And you're dead. Alright, there's more gear for my El Diablo. Okay, I can only take six shots, sadly. Ah! Yeah, I think this is where a smoke bomb would be nice. This is where the smoke bomb would be helpful. Or even Molotov cocktail, maybe? Yeah, I got them moving. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go smoke bomb here. Or we can just get ourselves in trouble again. Oh boy, I'm dead. Ah, oh, nuts.
Okay, we checkpointed. So this is considered a checkpoint. Alright. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, I want to cover all areas to try and find the closest way, or the fastest way to get ourselves out of this mess. Yeah, that's going to arouse suspicion. That will definitely arouse suspicion. <laughs> yeah, like right here. Yeah, it's all behind cover. Alright, you're dead. Let's take your El Diablo bullet. Take your El Diablo round. Yeah, the smoke bomb will definitely be helpful here. And... Ah, oh, crap. He got in the way. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, especially with machine guns in play. Oh, quickly, 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 yes! Down you go. Assault rifle! Assault rifle! What?! Ugh. Yeah, it looks like I may need to use that assault rifle. Duck again. Duck again. He's health kit again. Oh, crap. Um, how did he just run by me? Ah, oh, crap. I am in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh, wow, he just followed me over here. Alright. Trying to figure out where we have to go next. Now, it would be nice to know. Fire exit might seem like obvious, but no, that's not... I don't think we're going to be getting that kind of luxury. Oh, but if I could maybe... No, I don't think that's a way out. In fact, I think we've already been through here. Let's try and stay out of the way of the fireflies. Yeah, we have been through here. This is the x-ray room. Okay. Alright, the light's coming from that um, industrial lamp over there. And if we can get this guy and we can shiv him, that'll definitely help. Shiv the guy, shiv the guy, shiv the guy. Gotcha! Unfortunately. Ooh, goods. Hide from view. I'm gonna find you, asshole. <laughs> you wish. Well, actually, I know you will. Oops. Come on. Come on. I can shiv you. Yeah, let's strangle you out. Strangle you out and protect my shivs. Alright, good. You're out. You're out of commission. Next. And we'll take a bottle. Oh. <laughs> Once again, swapping stuff for stuff I would prefer to keep using. Okay, it doesn't look like any more are coming from that way. Oh, all Diablo po bullets. Awesome. Oh, there were two more coming from over there. What? Oh, you found me? Oh, you did. Get your assault wife. Get your assault rifle. Soldier down. Spread out. Where the hell are you? Right here. Right, 
Which of you that was your friend? Because I know you had a third. Oh! I'm, on, I'm pinned on both sides by assault rifles. Health kit. Health kit. Where'd they go? Yeah, because the smoke bomb helps me as much as it helps them! Yeah, that's not- I think that's like a sniper. Oh, and it's playing from behind. Seriously? I think we're starting this over again. Yeah, now it's three sides. Alright. Like, I feel like I'm figuring this out. Problem is, though, um, given that there's still a lot of threats going on around, it doesn't feel like I'm getting the progress that I need in order to continue. Because we haven't reached another checkpoint yet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, he's gonna come to me, by the looks of it. And if he doesn't, I'll catch him right in the act. I'll catch him. And strangle him out. Strangle him out. This is an interesting perspective. Alright, I got you dead. Take your El Diablo. <coughs> Can't take the brick. Oh, yeah, I've been through here before. Okay. Did I get this did get the other guy? I think I did. I got him moving. I definitely have them moving. Your feet are moving. Your feet are moving. Oh, they're making it this easy? Are they making it this easy? I guess I might as well just take you out right here. Pick up your assault rifle and your magazine. Pick up everything over here. Okay. Go with Molotov cocktail. Ow! Now you got me. Oh, boy, did you get me. Boy, did you get me. Yeah, good thing I made a health kit. <laughs> Man. But yeah, these guys are getting better. They're getting smarter. But then they are the, again, they are the fireflies. What else would you expect? Thing is, I've taken out so many of them this time. more shots gonna make him count I hope I didn't expose myself no I did not did I see another flashlight nope this works like I think we're fine I think we're fine Let's take stuff from over here. Yeah, I think this is where the firearms are finally going to be effective. Because, yeah, they have not been effective for the longest time. 30 assault rifle rounds. 
Oh, hold on. You got stuff over here. Oh, it's just a brick. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> Can't take it. Sadly. Okay, here we go. I believe everyone's been cleared out from this part. And we can continue. Alright. So, wait a minute, am I just going around in circles? I think I am going around in circles, because... Ah, uh, game. Yeah, because there's the stupid brick. Alright, come on, people. I not I took out all the fireflies. Where's my next destination? I really would hate to have to go to a video review on something like this. Oh, pass through the curtain, maybe. Um well, nothing over here of interest. Um man. Yeah, I'm I'm just wandering at this point. Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay, looks like we can continue on over here. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're moving on. At least I hope we are. Oh, gotta get out of view again. Get out of view again. Yeah, let you guys go by harmlessly. Alright. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I got the next part. I got to the next part. Whoa. <laughs> Itchy trigger finger? Oh, wait a minute. That takes care of you. Yes, there will be. Is this my sanctuary? To lock myself out? Alright. We're good. So now we're running. Running to the next floor. The next few floors, actually. Oh, hold on, well... Before we go do that, yeah, I don't think we can power this generator. What do we got? Surgeon's a quarter. Let's play it. Or worse. Well, we know we're getting closer. Only question is how much further. Because that's what it comes down to now. How much further. Is there anything here I want to take? I'm getting that near end of game adrenaline rush. Marlene's journal, huh? Um, not gonna read it. Too much, and too little, too much to read, too little time. I mean, we haven't run into fireflies again. Oh. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Take your eyes off me. But it looks like that's what we're gonna have to get through in order to beat this game. Is this one a swap to use the assault rifle? It is. Only problem is, I'm not all that confident in using it, especially since we're getting one at this late stage in the game. You brought the kid all the way from Now we use the Molotov cocktail to put this guy out. That was a nice score, actually. That was pretty good. In fact, why don't we make another? <laughs> yeah, plopped right on his head. Sylph Mojol again. In fact, let's see if I can El Diablo this guy. Oh, hold on. I think that may be an increase to my health. It is. How much more? Oh, he's going to take up the previous position. He's going to take up the previous position. Ooh, that was a bad miss. can come back here and stay in view long enough, I might be able to get him. Got him. Oh, I see flashlight over here. And yeah, they all keep going the same place. Show your face. I have enough for a bomb? Sure. He's still there though. Let's find out. Well, we know if anyone runs through there again, they're gonna get blasted. All right, here comes someone. And out he goes. Stay calm, stay composed, and we'll have this. Alright, that looks like the last line of defense, possibly. I think that got him. Yeah, they're both dead. Oh, assault rifle, huh? Well, let's just move on. All right, next section. I should buy me some time. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. All right, where now to? Where to now? Next door. Oh, hold on. Is this it? We found her! What are you doing, you kid? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna make a run to get a weapon. Someone this told me I had to kill the guy. I had to kill the doctor in order to continue. And I have the option to kill everyone else. I don't wanna die! Yeah, you, you know what, I'm... Yeah, I was told I'm supposed to kill the doctor. I was told that, um... I don't have to kill all of them. But I had to kill at least the first one. That that third one. Oh, shit. Yeah, we we better get going. That third one I really didn't want to kill because she was begging for life, and I didn't want to harm her. But yeah, I guess we gotta get her out of here now. Where do we go? 
Whoa! No, no. Oh. Oh my. Did, we, did I just get the bad ending because I didn't know where to go? Yeah, I think that was the bad ending. Come on. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, like, I didn't know where to go. Like, do we just go on a random path and hope we don't get caught? Rook. Yeah, because I'm just carrying Ellie Rook. around. Rook. Well, no, no, yeah, no way, no way. Now, we don't want to run into you guys. But that does... Is this an elevator? I think, yeah, this is an elevator. Yeah, can, can we get some separation? Well, at least we're safe for now. And we do have Ellie back with us. But how far do we have to go in order to get ourselves out of here? We're going down to the basement. Yeah, because I was thinking about this. We, it was never mentioned that we had Ellie's consent. I can't save her. Oh, hi, Marlene. Yeah, it was never mentioned what? that we had Ellie's consent to do the test by a pack of or to get her brain that extracted. Is if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. You know it. But did you ask her? Look. Because she was half drowned when they found her. Still, do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Well, what's Joel gonna do? Because if he's worked that hard to save Ellie, I don't think he's necessarily gonna be all that enthusiastic about just handing her back to Marlene. Yeah, I can't help but feel that she's with Joel right now. I just have that feeling. Uh, yeah, there she is. What the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. <laughs> Hospital gown. Thoughts are still wearing off. What happened? Do you really want to know? We found the fireflies. Yes, he did. Or rather, the fireflies, the fireflies found us. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. Really. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. And ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... Oh, he shot Marlene. They stopped looking for a cure. Yeah, they stopped looking for a cure because he took Ellie away from them. I'm taking this home. Oh, as in going home, as in going back to um, Tommy or something? Because Tommy did offer. Okay, so we're seeing this again. So, shoots Marlene, puts Ellie in a readily available vehicle. Because, yeah, how was he supposed to know that was there? Wait! Let me go! You just come after her. Ow. Yeah. After seeing Marlene getting shot, I was thinking, do you remember back to, like, I think it was, like, episode three, when we had to put up with Robert, and he said, fuck the fireflies? Well, all these episodes later, and after a lot of struggle, we've actually done it. We did what Robert wanted us to do all along. We fucked the fireflies. And we're getting our souls back to Wyoming. Be so I guess we're controlling Ellie again. Alright. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Well, what we did wasn't necessarily pretty. Alright. Yeah, especially trying to get through a fence of barbed wire. Now. <laughs> yeah, you're feeling your age now, there, Joel. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah so where's that? Like Are we going to where Tommy encouraged us to go? I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been 
Could have been good friends. Think you really were. Yeah, if she, um, Sarah could get past the swearing, oh. sure. Come on, give me a shot. Give me the shot I'm looking for. Yeah, that. There we go. That's better. It's a little bit further now. So yeah, we're just basically enjoying the scenery and taking the satisfaction that we saved Ellie and essentially doomed mankind in the process. Like, cause we never had Ellie's consent to do the experiment, because I mentioned before she was half-drowned when the Fireflies found her. It was never established that Ellie got an opportunity to speak with them, because, of course, she was unconscious Wait. when Joel mentioned we found the Fireflies. <sighs> What's wrong, Ellie? Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. Well, of course not. You had Marlene. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. Yeah, that, that's something I'm actually going to explain at the end of the episode. Turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. Not a bad oh, on you. You've got Henry, too. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. Yeah, you have. No matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. Uh, well, it's not. I swear. Yeah, I don't think she believes him. Okay. So we're just gonna take it at face value? Oh, that is... Is that the cr that is the credits? Oh, I didn't. I was actually thinking there was still going to be a little more left to do, but no, that's it. We won. I've been the last of us. My third blind let's play is over. I was, I was actually expecting to go for a little while longer, but yeah, that's it. We basically killed the fireflies, prevent them from getting their chance at curing Ellie, or. Well, they couldn't cure Ellie, they were going to kill Ellie and extract her brain to um, man manufacture the vaccine that they wanted. But, yeah, that's... It, it really... I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because... It, it feels like... I, I'm really not sure how to put my head around this, knowing that they were trying to do the right thing but without someone's consent. But, like, I, I, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. But, it, it, I, I'm, I'm just not really sure how, how to put it into words right now. It's, it's difficult for me to put it into words right now because I'm still trying to understand the gravity of everything that's just happened over the course of the last couple of episodes. So, I, I guess I'll just leave it to um, your guys' imagination or whatever you want to write in the comments about what you think about what just happened. It'll be interesting to read what you guys had to say about seeing this last episode. But anyway, the thing that um, Ali was talking about at the end there with her friend, that was actually part of something that was available as downloadable content in PlayStation 3 as bonus content and what well, served essentially as a prologue, but it came automatically with the PS4 version. Um, it's not something I'm going to feature in this um, Let's Play, because now that I've beaten the game, I'm pretty much going to end it here. But as far as um, what I've accomplished, 
uh, I'm very proud of myself, of course, for successfully completing my third blind LP because um, this was a game in a genre that I had never touched until I actually played this game. Um, this is a game that, of course, has gotten a lot of um, high praise, of course. It has lots of awards and accolades, and because of that, they are planning to do a sequel to this game. But I'm actually going to take a couple moments to explain some of the things that have come as in wake of success of The Last of Us. Um, as I just mentioned, they're planning on doing a sequel, which for me personally, I think is a bad idea. Because, as I mentioned, this, award, this movie has... Not, not this movie, this game has received so many awards and accolades, it's like, it, it would be considered a perfect game. And it's like, it's considered so good, it would be putting you in the mindset of, it's already so good, why make a sequel? Because there have been so many situations over the years where something was already incredibly popular and incredibly successful, then they started making sequels, and that pretty much tarnished the franchise. That pretty much tarnished the game and what made it so popular to begin with. So, I'm not really down with the idea of there being a Last of Us sequel, because Eternal Sonata, when I did the Let's Play of that, it was already such a wonderful game, it was already such a perfect game in my mind, there was no reason, there was no reason for there to be a sequel. And they never did one, because it was already such a good game. So I don't feel like The Last of Us should get a sequel because of fear that it will ruin the, the, this original game. And speaking of that, in the wake of the success, there's been discussions on doing a Last of Us live motion picture as well. And so I'm worried that that might not be successful too, because considering everything that's involved with this game, and how much the storyline is so imperative to its success, I can easily see a situation where what made this game so successful will be completely neglected in a live-action movie. I can totally see someone like Michael Bay getting their hands on this movie and making it all about the action and explosions. And it'll be very popular at the box office, but on a critical standpoint, it will just be absolutely hated because that's, what's, that's what Michael Bay is all about. He has all these successful movies, but only because of the fact that it's all about the action and not about the storyline itself. And so I really fear that a live action movie would also further damage the reputation of this game. So that's really what I had to say about um, things once I got to the, this point and knowing that we've now reached the end. Um, of course, there's still my um, things that are going on that are in terms of my Let's Plays. Um, of course, my Shovel Knight Let's Play has gotten underway, and I want to thank everyone for their early support for that. As well, I wanted you guys to know that, of course, on June 23rd, we'll be starting my Final Fantasy XIV Heavens Ward Let's Play, and there's still the matter of deciding what I'm going to play after this, and Shovel Knight. Um, I'm still looking for votes and comments on whether I should play Super Mario 64, Star Fox 64, or Ninja Gaiden. And so, it's important that I get that information so that I get your support because I want to make this more of an interactive channel. I want to get your more of your support um, in terms of getting feedback from you guys on what you want me to play next because I really feel that will ultimately help to make this a more successful YouTube Let's Play channel. And so, if I can get more um, feedback from you guys on what you want me to play, what I should improve upon, what I should not be doing, like, please let me know, because I really would appreciate um, more feedback from you guys, because if you don't know what you're doing right or wrong, you cannot truly make yourself more successful than what you are. You can end up stuck in neutral, and I don't want that to necessarily happen to me. Like, I enjoy doing this for fun, I enjoy doing this as a hobby, but of course, I'm always looking for more support, and it's only through feedback and encouragement that that can happen, and so I would strongly encourage you guys to um, 
I, I always put at the start of my descriptions of every movie, of every video that I put up. Um, I am always asking for your support, your encouragement, and for your feedback to tell me what I can do to make this channel better. So please, by all means, do that. I would greatly appreciate it, as we, especially as we continue on from Last of Us and move on to complete Shovel Knight as well as other Let's Plays that I will be doing in the near future. So I think that's going to do it for me, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching Let's Play The Last of Us, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next Let's Plays. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.